Welcome to another screencast. Um, in this screencast, we're going to look at how we convert an ebook, an EPUB format ebook, into a Kindle version. And uh, now you can see that on the screen here, I've got open um, my Finder on a Mac, and I've also got this Kindle Previewer open. Now, this is a freely available tool from the Amazon website, and I shall provide you with the link to that. Uh, but basically, we just simply drag and drop um, an EPUB file into this window. And as you can see, it's going through the routines to uh, enhance the ebook, um, make it appropriate for all Kindle devices. It takes a little while, so I might, I might cut some of this out. Okay, so our ebook, which is uh, a Midsummer Night's Dream play, as you can see, is opened in the Kindle uh, Previewer, and you have a, a simulation of the basic Kindle um, e ink black and white device over here on the right hand side. And I'm just going through as if I was looking at this on a Kindle. Uh, you can even see the individual pages over here on the left hand side if you want to. Um, now we can also see what this would look like in other devices. So, for example, if we open um, the Kindle tablet, this obviously gives us a color uh, rendition, color text as you can see. I'm just going through to see if I can find an image. Here we are. So we have a pretty good uh, rendition of the ebook as a Kindle um, for a Kindle device. Um, over here, we should be able to see um, the table of contents, and this will work on the actual device itself. As you can see, three different levels in the play itself. Uh, this all depends, of course, on having the correct. Uh, table of contents in the EPUB in the first place. So your objective really is to create the correct EPUB, uh, in this case a reflowable EPUB, and this will then generate the correct uh, Kindle version. And as you can see, the, the users um, can also increase um, the page size in here in the, in the uh, thumbnail view, uh, and they can also change the font size. So let's say we want to make this much, much smaller. As you can see, this is, this is what's happened on the actual uh, simulated Kim Kindle device, or indeed larger, if you, uh, if you want to do that. So you're basically simulating what the users can do on a Kindle. We can also have a look and see what this looks like on a phone uh, by using the iPhone simulator, although it's not necessarily an iPhone, it's just a bespoke looking uh, phone, reasonably small. And again, as you can see, this is a color device. So if you have color in your ebook, then that's what you're going to see. Um, now, finally, you need to um, get some files out of this for distribution. Um, and it really depends on what you want to do with it. If you want to put it onto your own Kindle device, uh, you need to go to export. And then you need, uh, under here, you need to use the Mobi file to sideload onto a, a Kindle device. Um, this is actually what we, what we need for that. On the other hand, if you just save it as a KPF file, then that will um, actually be distributable through Amazon. So you can send that to Amazon directly for them to distribute your ebook. So those are the different types of um, export options and you might want to export each one of them in turn.